Welcome back to the Mail Call Monday video. I'm your host, the Duck Man. <laughs> and this is... Baby Queens. And you are. I am. She is. I'm not. You are not. Boo. Mm, there's only one. Yep. It's me. B. B. Well, we're here to open up our mail. And as always, on Mail Call Mondays, we got a stack of mail. And it's all down here. We got, what, about five, six pieces? Mm. So we got five yeah. pieces. Yeah. We're gonna have to share a story about the blue cup because people keep asking why is this cup so significant to me, and it's a really big story and it goes back, you know, some 20 years. And it's amazing that yeah, it's been around with me that long. It involves uh, my dad's house. It involves Skeeter. It involves an ex-girlfriend from that long ago. And we'll share that later on in this video. But before we do any of that, let's open up the first piece of mail. What would you like to open up first? This one's on top. Let's do this. It's from Chuck. From Chuck. Where's She's, Chuck from? Chuck is from Middle River. Maryland. All right. As an MD or an MO? MD. It is an MD. Okay. Make sure it wasn't Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> you got that okay? Make sure you look for a note first. You're real careful there, slicing. Oh, 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 oh. I had a nickel oh. every time I hear that sound. Oh. From a man. From a man. There is a note. A note. A note. A note. Is that how you would say it, where you're from there? A note. A note. No, it's too Canadian for you. Yeah. <laughs> Wish it was something better for Mail Call Monday. Funds are a little tight, but hopefully the sentiment is there. Thank you for the hours of entertainment. You should look into the Buy Me a Coffee site. Chuck at Dumb Idea 2020. Hmm. Dumb Idea. It must be his uh, Instagram YouTube handle. name. Instagram name. Hmm. Oh, we'll have to look it up. Dumb Idea 2020. We'll look it up and we'll give you a link down below in the video description. Ah, it's a duck! With a baby duck. That's awesome. Oh, it's from the the Fisher Price set. From those toys with the little people. 2003 Mattel Inc. It's almost an antique. Yeah. Check that out. It's a duck. Show and on the, the back side, duck. a duck. And what's over our heads? Another airplane. Which we haven't had one in a while. And I was just saying that we're going to have one every five friggin' minutes. <laughs> and we haven't, actually. It's been quiet. Who is it? There we go. Delta, I guess? Uh, they might lose something. Probably United. Well, we got a duck from Chuck. Chuck the Duck. In fact, United you know what? Boston Chuck! Russell. That's the duck's name. Chuck the Duck. And that's Chuck the Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. Chocolate the Ducklet. Oh. <laughs> chocolate Ducklet. I love it. Yeah. Chocolate. He's got a great name. Appreciate it, Chuck. Thank you so much. Well, before we get to opening up any more, Linky, likey, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to pluck the dingle belly so that way you get updates every time we upload a video. Check out DougShit.net for all of our different social media links. And if you'd like to email me, DougManCycles at DougShit.net or hit up DougShit.net and use the contact page. Type in something there and click the send button. You don't have to know my email address. It's that easy, really, guys. It's that easy. I can't remember your email address. Use the website. Right? Okay. <laughs> all right. We'll be back right after that intro. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and we're back. We got some mail we're going to open here still. What's this piece? This looks like it's from Jody. You think it's from Jody? Well, it's from Canada. We don't know if it's from Jody. But we imagine. But it's it's spelled out to Glenn with one N, which isn't me, and it's spelled out to B, B-E-A, like B Arthur. Bia. So what do you and B Arthur have in common? You're both tall. Was she? Yeah, she was tall. Yeah. She was the tallest of the Golden Girls anyway. I mean, I don't know how she was, you know comparison to us but she's tall okay. she was a actress in a star wars film well it's a stupid holiday special but it's still star <laughs> wars so it's canon uh, even though george lucas says it's not anymore <laughs> b arthur oh yeah, by the way she he also put your my last name after your name so apparently we have the same name now somehow we're attached uh we are not married you all right this was from Jody and Peter. It is from Jody. That's yeah, right. cool. and Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Uh huh. Glenn, B, B. Uh. <laughs> Hope everything <laughs> is well down there nowadays. Got itch. That's uh, about as well as it can be down there, I imagine. Peter and I just had to send these when we saw them at the store. Keep it weird button and a towel for you and candies and button for B. You guys choose what buttons. Jody and Peter, your Canadian boyfriends. Oh, there's oh. more. 
it's the same thing, but oh, we're going to have thing? to edit that because their address is on the back. Oh, no! You oh, just yeah. held it up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, your hand was on it. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe not. We'll I guess see. we'll see. Well, what do the buttons say? The buttons say, I prefer eating out. And yeah. uh, fun, things to, fun things to do with the pussy, shave it, play with it, and lick it. You don't say. Oh, let me. Uh-huh. <laughs> don't shave it. That's how you get ingrown hairs. Ah! We trim. We're adults. If you voted, we're not anyway. shaving. You gotta have a little fur on it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to look like a 12-year-old. That's, That's exactly the point. There's no mistakes that way. <laughs> After sex towel, wipe away your sins. Perfect. Oh boy. It looks like it literally says after sex towel. And that's funny. Egg Harbor, New Jersey. Spencer oh Spencer Gifts, Spencer okay. So, <laughs> yeah, they're out of New Jersey. Alright, uh spicy cock soup. Oh yes! I couldn't wait to get me a hot cock. Oh man. And uh pussy patch sours. Sour vaginas. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of sour candy, but I will try one or two. That is it. That's pretty funny. They're like gummies, huh? You want to try one now? Sure. All right. Bust it open. It looks like there's a, a tear open right there. Oh. Ooh, that's good. Mm, that is sour. Oh, it. there's a packet inside the packet. Oh, one of those. Okay. Oh, it's multi-serving. Ah, okay. They look like little pussies. They look like little slugs. Yeah, they do. They look like chitons. Like who? Um, sea slugs? Sort of. A chiton? Chiton. Chiton? What's a chiton? A uh, polyplacophora? A polyplacostomus. We don't have them down here, but I'll show you a picture. It's a polyplacostomus. It looks like a poly. Hmm. Usually what I do with these is... <laughs> Much chewier than a real thing. Just a sour, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, really chewy. Yeah. Not as sour as I expected. It builds, but... Not bad. You're gonna have to make some cock soup. I'm gonna have to put my cock in a pot. Cock pot. Well, these are stuck together. Green pussy? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't ordinarily eat a green one, but cheers. <laughs> it's like sour apple. Or trying. I might have to get Lucian Francisco out to cook. Yeah? Yeah, Lucian Francisco is somebody that cooks in my kitchen once in a while. He's got a very unique costume. He likes to wear a tie under his shirt. <laughs> Boy, it must be good if you just keep eating these pussies. <laughs> mm, this one's a virgin. Not anymore. <laughs> Whoa! There we go. You know what's the best part? Hmm. <laughs> All right, we got some more here. I'm gonna continue munching more. Doing much. our thing. I appreciate it, Jody. Thank you so much to Peter. One time we, well, I did. I messed up his name. What did I call him? Todd or something? <laughs> Whatever it was, it was like way off. And it was very funny. And even Peter laughed about it. So I'll be glad for that because otherwise I felt a little bad. <laughs> There's well. two left. Let's split the last of them. Oh, okay. You must have really liked it. Well, these are rainbow ones. <laughs> oh, finger looking good, huh? Mm. All right, what else we got? All right, let's do this one. This is from <coughs> Daniel Killian uh -huh. from uh, Oregon. What's the city? Grants Pass. Grants Pass, Oregon. Not familiar with where that is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Could be anything. Ah. Is it condom? That'd be a blend. Me. You. There's a note. I'm going to read it dramatically for you. Dramatically? 
All right, I'm holding you to it. Dear Glenn, one in. The one in. Duck man. I am the duck man, but I'm not Glenn at one in. Just a little <laughs> something to add to your collection of Volkswagen related shirts. William Shatner over here. Is that dramatic enough? <laughs> I don't know. You gotta do it Charlton Heston style. Charlton Heston. Oh. Damn you, dirty apes! Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the bug on the shirt kind of remind me of Eleanor. Better. No. Okay. Although, I mean, it was dramatic, but yeah, it wasn't okay. Heston. <laughs> Although certainly not the right color. Keep doing what you do. It is both informative and entertaining. I'm looking forward to you getting your own shop and getting mm, back to working on Gregory so much. and all your other Volkswagen projects. Dan Killian. Dan Killian. Awesome. And now oh. they reveal. Dan, we got to get on you, man. <laughs> Glenn's got two ends. And that's not my Eleanor. And I have to do that for copyright reasons, that Eleanor must be spelled correctly, because she often gets confused with a Mustang of a similar and sounding audible name, but very different spelling. You ready? <laughs> what do you got? Dun, 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 dun. It's porn. No. Oh. It's a pocket shirt. That's awesome. Legends never die. Is that a chop topper? It is. And you know what? The color looks mighty familiar. Check that out. The color. Oh. Eleanor's color. That's fantastic. And he made it bumperless too, which is kind of neat also because Eleanor is currently bumperless and, and may stay bumperless for a little while until I get her figured out. Did you get my size? 2XL. I think he thinks I'm gaining some weight. <laughs> I mean, but it we'll might shrink be that sucker up. Yeah, we'll shrink that sucker up. It'll be fine. I'll wear it over a sweater if I have to. That is awesome though. Thank you so much. Really, I appreciate that. That is cool. But that's, uh, without doubt, that's my Eleanor. See? Check out that color. When the light hits it just right, you know, that diamond green makes it look gold. Sometimes you get a little red out of it, even tan colors. And lastly, you get that olive color, which is really hard to represent in the print. But, yeah, that color is just beautiful. Beautiful. You have watched that video, right? I have, but I want to see it in person. Oh, you will. I know, I'm it's coming soon. Coming real soon. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, before we jump to anything else, we're going to tell you the history of the Blue Cup. So many people have been asking, so we're going to spin off to a little segue <laughs> about what the Blue Cup is to me and why it's so significant in my life. Well, why am I getting drunk in the bathroom with two ducks over here in the tub? <laughs> well, there's a lot of reasons for that, one of which is to describe the story of the Blue Cup. Well, you know what they say, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll kiss your five minutes goodbye, and I'm probably going to even gross you out a little bit, so you might want to stick around for this one because it, it's an interesting story and it's 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 a little fun and you're probably gonna say what the hell's wrong with you duck man but it's got everything to do with the story of the blue cup and the reason why I'm sitting in this very bathroom we're gonna go all the way back to September of 2001 now you know it was on everybody's mind right then and mine was a big set of titties and the girl I was seeing at the time was a real sweetheart just an absolute sweetheart and she, uh, you know, we had our problems, that's the reason why she's not around anymore, but she, she, she really was a, a good person with a really big heart. And I was down in the dumps for some reason, I wasn't happy, and then one day uh, she said, you know, why, why don't I just bring you a milkshake or something to make you feel better? I'm like, really do that? Yeah, peanut butter milkshake, and I, I love anything with peanut butter, so of course I was all excited, I was all happy. And when she showed up, it was in this blue cup. And it should have gone back to her, come back to her, her mom's kitchen because that's where she made the thing. But unfortunately, things didn't work out that way. It's just whatever reason never made it home. Well, fast forward to March of 2002. Sandy's still with me, and uh, we're hanging out at a friend's house, and they have 21 ducks, little ducklings running around. And she goes, "I want the little one with the crooked head." Well, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. But uh, that was when Skeeter came home. That was Skeeter, and I picked out Jumper, which was her sister. And they both came home at the same time. And I raised them in a bird cage uh, here in the house until they started getting just a little bit too big for it. Then I started putting them here in the tub during the day when I had to go to the store or something where, where I couldn't play with them or give them attention. When I got home, there would usually be food plastered all the way around the tub because when they eat, they sling. I don't know why they do that, but they just sling the food everywhere. So it was all around the sides of the tub. And the bottom of the tub would be just plastered with shit. So the easiest way to clean that is just run the tub. Close the drain, run the tub, let it fill up with water, let them take a bath, they'll make waves, they'll splash around, and when you let the drain out, the tub's clean, it's all gone. So I just go ahead and scrub it out with a little bit of bleach or something, take my shower, and you know, move on forward. It wasn't a big deal. 
Well, after a short time of doing that, and of course this is making best effort to keep the house from making a, a stink, you know, trying not to get the house stinky. And Dad never really complained about the stink. Uh, once in a while, if I waited too long to clean them, I might get a little stinky. But his, his only complaint he had was that I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin the septic tank. And I thought that was kind of a weird thing because shit's supposed to go on a septic tank, but I'm no expert at decomposing, but I am an expert at making them. And for anybody watching this that knows me or <laughs> knows my family will know that the subject of the dinner table, whenever the family gets together, always has to do with my bowel movements and how incredible they are. <laughs> well, let's just say a lot of things haven't changed and I hope they're better out than in. That's all I gotta say about that. The ducks would be playing here in the tub and they're doing their thing and I, I was, um, doing best effort to now not to try to let the shit go down the drain. So I had a plastic squeegee and I used torn pieces of cardboard and I'd scoop it and throw it into a glass jar. It was amazing because it would fill a, a really big glass jar with just whatever was in there. They shit a lot. It was incredible. And I'd take the jar outside and rinse it out, splash it in the grass, and the grass grew real good where it was at. And then um, one day I put the glass jar back in the corner of the tub and one of the ducks poked it until it fell down and hit the inside of the tub. And I don't know how it didn't break. And that's when it occurred to me just how stupid of an idea it was to put glass in a bathtub. Just really stupid idea. But the fact that uh, they had knocked it down and it didn't break gave me a better opportunity to realize that's not, I need, not what I need to be doing in here. So what I would do is I would close the drain and I'd start filling it with water and then I'd find something in the kitchen that nobody was interested in and nobody cared about to uh, scoop the shit out and throw it outside with a nice thin lip on it so that way when I get the shit to the end of the tub I can easily scoop it up and get it in there to take it outside and the first thing that came to mind was well you know um <laughs> the blue cup so yeah the blue cup is a duck shit cup and I used it in here for oh, I don't know probably uh, I think it was about a year or so that I lived here after that, and then I moved out, but I took the cup with me, and it continued to be a duck shit cup in the new house that I was in, and the house that I lived in after that as well, until finally I got the ducks a pen, and I let them live out in the yard, and I only brought them in when there was severe storms or really cold weather or something, otherwise they stayed outside. The blue cup, of course, has been washed many, many times. It's uh, not ever been a concern, and it certainly doesn't taste like duck shit. And yes, I do know what duck shit tastes like. Let's just say it's not appealing and it's not something that I would ever do by choice. But when you have ducks around and they have a lot of accidents, it's just, it's bound to happen. Well, about two months ago, I lost this thing. And it broke my heart because this thing reminds me so much of Skeeter and us bonding in the earlier years. It devastated me that it was gone. This cup not only you see in my videos, but I also bring it with me when I go to parties. Uh, you might see it in Ranchero 302 Me's video when I go over to his house because I bring my cup with me. This cup is extremely special. It's nice plastic. It's it's like a bouncy plastic, so it's not going to crack or, and hopefully it won't. It's nice and scratched up though. It has a texture to it, which is kind of cool. But it devastated me because I lost the damn thing. It was gone for almost two whole months. And I thought, maybe I left it at Rancho 302 Me's house. And then I thought, well, sometime in the interim, I had made it down to Dad's house. Maybe I left it there. So I tore this house all apart. Couldn't find it. And then one day, I'm in, in my garage, and I moved some tools out of the way. And I saw that the cup was just kind of shoved in between some tools. And, and I remembered putting it there now. I was doing some work, and I didn't have a flat surface to stick it on. I had just finished a drink. So I just wedged it in between some tools. And that's where it got lost for two months. And when it turned up, you know, what's the first thing I did? I filled it up, and I had a party. <laughs> well, this, uh, this drink is well-deserved today. Uh, it's still morning. I don't care. Uh, like I said, I did close on that house. The house is finally sold. I got a little bit of a grace period here to get the last of the stuff out of it. It actually gave me a month. But I would agree to anything that they wanted because we had a contract within 36 hours, and we did closing within 12 days. And that's the fastest I had ever seen one turn over. They probably could have done a little faster than that, but they wanted to roll it over at the end of the month. So uh, September 30th, which is today, this thing is uh, effectively sold. No longer mine. However, I still have possession of the interior of it for another month. So I can still come down here. I can still collect some things. I can still spend the night even if I wanted to. But they're probably going to start working on the outside. They might do a little landscaping. They might put up some new siding and repaint the house. You know, they, they might change the roof. Well, the house doesn't need it, but... 
you know, new owner can do whatever they want. They're probably going to rehab it and they want to sell it and they want to sell it quick. And the market is still up, so it's probably the best time for them to do it. Well, that's the story of the Blue Cup. Right, Ducks? I see Crash is laying down. Crash is getting tired. Boomer, you're mean. And uh, we'll be headed home early tomorrow morning. By the time you see this video, we've been home for a long time because that's how long it takes me to edit these things sometimes. I'm going to finish up my drink and then uh, I'm probably going to chill for a little while and then get back to packing up some stuff, put it up on the trailer and uh, get ready to leave tomorrow morning. So we'll see what happens. Um, again, by the time you see this, I would have long since been settled back at home, and uh, all of Dad's stuff that's here should have been assimilated back into my house somewhere. I don't know where, but now that the house is sold, I, I'm a little bit cash fluid, not rich by any means. No, 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 no. This thing put me in debt really badly, just trying to keep the, um, the place contained, you know, the, the, the monthly phone, but yeah, I kept the phone on. There's reasons for that. Now, I'm not going to get into all the reasons, but there's reasons I left the phone on. I kept the power on. You have to leave the AC running down here, otherwise the interior of a Florida house will mold over and you'll just ruin the entire fucking house. I also could not shut off the water bill or the garbage services. They are mandatory. If you own a house here, you have to have those services. I think it's complete bullshit because what if I had a well? I have my own septic here and what stops me from bringing my own trash to the dump? Fuck you, government. Tell you what. But that's another story for another day. I also had to pay the insurances here because hell, if we had a hurricane and the house blows away, that's fucked. That ain't good. And I had to pay the taxes. I mean, the list just went on and on and on and on, and I've been doing this now for 16 months, I think it is. So, I mean, it put me into some serious debt, spending money that I just did not have. But now that the house is sold and my brother and I have divvied things up, um, there's a little bit left. There's a little bit left, and I'm going to put it on the side because that is going to essentially be for closing costs and maybe even just a little bit for the down payment of whatever new property it is that I'm trying to get into. Now, now that I have a little something and my debt is caught back up, my credit, by the way, has always been good. It's in the mid-800s, and not a lot of people give away their credit scores, but mine's good enough that I don't give a shit. Mid-800s. By the way, if you plan on dating me, whoever you are out there, I'm going to get your credit score before we ever even consider anything because I'm not moving in another deadbeat. Yeah, no, no, no. If you can't pay your bills, then I don't want you. So uh, we'll be looking for property for, for the duck shop, uh, very, very rigorously shaking down the uh, the Pensacola Bay area and seeing what I can find. I'm looking for a lot of acreage. I want some big space, and I want it not too far from everything, and I guess that's, that's really the key. Not too far away from everything, but yet far enough that I can make my noise, I can do stupid shit, and nobody cares. <laughs> well, I guess that's going to be it for now, so... um. We'll switch you back to your regular scheduled program. Hey, right, boom! Mr. Bucket! Mr. Bucket! Look at you, Mr. Bucket! Bucket's his nickname. I don't really talk about that much, but yeah, he's the bucket. Bucket! The boom bucket! <laughs> and this is Crash. Crash is a good girl. Oh, she's playing with me. She doesn't do that very often. Play with daddy. Play with daddy. Oh, why are you bite your sister? You bite your brother. Bite your brother. You want to bite your brother? You know, I'm messing with you. It was me. You're not going to bite your brother because you know I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. Well, that's it for now. Thanks, you guys, for watching. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got some more mail. All right. What have we? We have this. What is it? I don't know. It's to you from Amazon. To you from Amazon. To Glenn. To Glenn. Eddie hey, spelled it right. Yeah. Yeah. From Amazon. Looks like a dick. <laughs> it's going. Oh, <laughs> well, this side's going out. That yeah, side's that going side's in. Yeah, that side's going in. Well, as long uh -huh. as you get it right. Okay. <laughs> What's that white stuff all over your pants? Paint. Oh. These are my painting pants. After using her Amazon arrow, she's got white paint on her pants. I have paint on my pants. <laughs> this is, if I'm not mistaken, what I got you. Hopefully you'll, you'll kind of know why I did what I did. Seatbelt. Ooh. The seatbelts. Uh-huh. For the Gia. Yes, why? Because the, they're messed up. They're not, they're, they don't match the... They don't match. Yep. Those are the buckles you need. Hopefully that works. Yes. 
we shall try I've them out. I've been doing a little research on that, and apparently they're like universalized. I didn't realize that, but on most modern cars, they're the same. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was uh, something that was mandated by some government somewhere in the world, but it didn't matter if it's a 350Z or a modern Honda or even a Cadillac, they all use the same class, even a Ford F-150. Yes, so the seats in there are from a, what did, you, what did we think, early 90s well, Honda Prelude? Well, for sure, it's a Honda Prelude. Early 90s? I think it was late 90s. Late 90s. It's a Honda Prelude seats. And, and the, the seat belt buckles are attached to the seats. Mm -hmm. But the belts are from the original Gia. Original Gia, Carmen Gia. So what you got here is the little pieces, and we'll test them out as soon as we get done with the video here and edit them in so everybody gets to see them. What you got in your hand? A uh, seat belt. Doinker. A seatbelt doinker. Yeah, the clippy clippy. Stroker doinker. No. Plunk your magic twanger, Froggy. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. These may need to be replaced. Yeah, we may have to swap them out with something else. Good news is one bolt, and you can probably switch them out from any car. So now you just need to get a set of those that match that. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Yeah. They're also pretty rusted, so I mean, it may be that as well. Yeah, these are too big. That's what she said. Probably not to you. Maybe. That's what she's talking about. These are too big. Might be talking about my feet. Well, there's a penny stuck in that one. A penny. Mm -hmm. Oh, riches. Oh no, it was a dime. Just very dime. dirty. Got nine more cents for free. That's interesting, huh? Nah. There you go. You're safe now. Oh dear. <laughs> I wonder if they work in the Z. That's the next question then. Oh boy. Right. Well, how about that? Well, about? shit. <laughs> well, it's the thought that counts. Thanks, yes. man. I thought about counting. Now you try them in the Z. Maybe we should add that to the video next. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, let's go try them in the Z. Hello, yard chickens. You have to take the long way around. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There it is. We got a bee coming in here with a doinker. And oh ho! Well, it looks like Eleanor's taking care of them. Uh. Push it in there. Now pull on it. Make sure it stays. Oh, it works. All right. Well, I guess we need to find you a set of uh, 350Z. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Just run to a junkyard and see what they've got that fits these. That's true too. Which would make it real cheap. You probably get out of there for ten bucks. Yeah, I gotta make a trip out there anyway and see if I can find some other parts for the truck. Hmm? You notice I'm not driving the truck today. That's not a truck. It's not. But it's got a Hemi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's also unfortunately not my car. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yard chickens. Me? Hello, yard chickens. Yard. Did you lay me any more eggs today? You're not even my chickens, but you keep making a lot of eggs over here. I'm looking. Did you make any new ones? Yep, there's another one. Hey, that. See that? Come coming. Hey. Yeah. They're not even my chickens, but because I've baited them with like beds and blankets and f food, they <laughs> like to dig holes in my yard. And now they started giving me eggs. I hope you're eating them. You know, I've been breaking them by accident. Just having accidents. But Crash keeps making a ton of them too. But who knows? Maybe there's a baby in there. Maybe we got a baby chicken in our future. A chicklet. Yeah, a chicklet. Like, like the gum. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right, you two be good chicklets. Stay out of trouble. I'll feed you again in a little while, okay? But, you notice how many's in there? Four. Because I need two also. <laughs> so I got some for me too. Eleanor has um, uh, Nissan seats in there, and again, they're the same, same seat belt. Mm -hmm. But these are just as simple as that. So what we'll do is we'll take the uh, end where the stitching is, undo the stitching, or even just cut the end off, mm -hmm. slide this through, and then restitch it closed again, and you got your clicky clicky. Like we'll exactly. make sure they fit, of course, if they don't, well, we'll figure out something else, but I'm pretty sure that's going to work. Perfect. Woo! See that? You're welcome. Right. 
last but certainly not least. We got the big one. To the duck man. Is there another one? What's this? Um, that's just the package. Oh, it's garbage. Onion. My package is under there. Uh, from Richard Will in Erie, Pennsylvania. Richard Will. Richard Will's been talking to me a lot through Instagram about this. He's been really, really excited to uh, get this thing upside down. Huh? This, you're upside down. You're cutting with the wrong side of the blade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not too deep now. I clearly yeah, I don't not know what's in there, but had we'll, enough coffee today. I want to stack it up. God dang. Richard, you made this thing fallout proof here. It's like a nuclear bomb shelter. Here on you that just side. killed Chuck the Duck. It's a miracle. Alright, don't pull. Don't pull because I don't want my drink to fall down. Yay! Oreo minis, hell yeah! Absolutely. Raspberries? Yeah. Look for a note. 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 You know what to do with that. <laughs> I don't see a note. I don't either. I hope you made one. Can you make no one? A note? A no! Oh no! Oh no! There's no note. There are some coupons for Perkins. Hell yeah. Except there's have no a Perkins. Perkins down no, there here. isn't. The one down by Dad's house, but not here. Richard, you left a note out. Well, Richard, we still appreciate you. Do you know what Richard had to say today? Hmm. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? It's like a little shark. A little wooden shark that he painted. Little wooden shark. Do, 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 do. Little wooden shark. Do, 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 do. That's awesome. Oh. That's really cool. And this one looks like a horse head. I like that he signed it too and put a date. Yeah. It makes it extra special. My dad did a lot of woodwork around like that in his place also. I found a lot of furniture he had made that had signatures on. A little horse head. Horse head. It's a horse head. Horse. Horse head. Horse head. Horse head. Horse divorce. Horse divorce. Again by Richard Will on 919. It's almost my birthday. 922 has been my birthday. Yep. Yep. That's pretty cool. The horse and head. And this one. And this one. He's a duck. A duck. <laughs> oh, you know what? He sent that to me in a photograph a long time ago. There you can see it was 12, 10, or 20. So it was almost a year ago he made that. I remember when he showed that to me. I, I didn't realize he was the same guy. So just now, now that I've seen this in person, I realize what it is. That's really cool. Oh. Thank you, Richard. And what's that? A duck clip. A duck clip. Hey. It's its own chocolate. It's, it's <laughs> chocolate. He's, <laughs> he's riding ducky back. Check that out. That is awesome. What else we got? Anything? Bubble wrap. Anything, anything? Bubble wrap? Ah. Ah. I got a hat. <laughs> got a hat. Chuck the duck and dark. chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. Where are you going? Oh, she's lost. Don't trip over something and murder yourself. <laughs> You're way off camera now. <laughs> Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video today. Thank you so much for rejoining us, B. <laughs> if you like a Disney character, you just don't talk when you're in costume. <laughs> That's it. Want me to cut you some eye holes or something? Maybe. <laughs> Is it hot in there? No. Glasses holes is what you need. <laughs> there you go. All right, so thank you everybody for the wonderful prezzies that we got here today. We got all kinds of neat stuff. I can't wait to eat some more pussy tonight. And uh, I can't wait to uh, put my cock in a pot. <laughs> I appreciate that. After sex towel. Gee, I don't know. I don't know if that's enough to soak up the mess I make. We got some seat belts. Hey, a little prezzy for you. There you go. You got your buttons that you 
fun things to do with a pussy and you prefer eating out. And uh, oh yeah, and Chuck, and, and chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> chocolate, I love it. <laughs> Later on this week is our car show at the Fly, at the Fly, fly. at the Five Flags Speedway here in Pensacola. It's on Saturday, October 16th of 2021, so if you're watching this too late, you missed it. Uh, come on out, come on, come all. Free to join the show uh, if you're a spectator. Free parking. There's going to be all kinds of food vendors. There's going to be all kinds of different stuff there. We've got 75 registrations as of the last time I looked. It'll probably double that. So we're looking at 150 cars that will be registered. And uh, I can almost guarantee you there'll be more than that. You know, we're looking at probably close to 300 will be at the show. A lot of people usually turn up for this one, and every year it gets bigger and bigger. So come on out. Five Flag Speedway on October 16th, 2021, right here in Pensacola. And uh, is there anything you'd like to share today? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. If you'd like to email us, uh, well, if you'd like to mail us, check out duckshit.net and find our address right up on there. You can send us anything you want. The weirder the better. It's always fun to open up something strange. Uh, check out duckshit.net for all of our different social media links. If you'd like to send me an email, hit up duckmancycles at duckshit.net or use the duckshit.net website by clicking the contact link and filling out the form right there. B. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us today. You are welcome. Thank you for It's been a little while since we've seen you. Your new hat. Yeah. You like that? That's actually from Richard Will. Thank you, Richard, for my new hat. Yeah, she's going to wear that from now forward. What do you think, guys? Think that's an improvement to her complexion? I think so. You do? Yeah. It says the duck man, so actually the duck man is your new face. Perfect. How about that? <laughs> that's going to ruin the fantasies of a lot of men. Ooh. <laughs> maybe not Jody. Yeah, maybe not Jody. I think Jody would, would be plenty happy with uh, my cock in a pot. So, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. <laughs>